All right, what is up, everybody? We good? We're good. Okay. 2.30. 2.30, October 5th. Just going to build some coils. I'm going to do like a half of a pitchfork. I'm going to stagger some ribbon. What's going on, everybody? And... I don't know. I'm probably going to take this video until four o'clock and then hopefully if everything goes well, I could come back on live um, later on, probably around six or so. So how's everybody doing? So I started a half of a pitchfork, but I'm just going to start a whole other one. Um, I'm going to use 0.3 stainless steel ribbon as the frames and such. 0.3 stainless steel ribbon. I have some 40 gauge cut already here. Um, am I frozen? I shouldn't be frozen. What's going on? How am I looking? Am I okay? Am I dead? No, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You have a fantastic re weekend. Yeah, everything, everything should be good, I think. I think every, everything should be good. Okay. So... I'm going to So I'm probably going to use all 40 gauge for this fuse. Oh, if I run out of the room out of nowhere, it's because I hear the door knocking with my mail. Okay. So there's that situation that may happen. How's everybody doing? Good, 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 good. I didn't get the full stream yard yet. Now I'm going to wait for that. There's no sense in me getting other stuff now until I'm settled in. Really, there's quite a possibility I'd be paying for a month that I didn't even use, you know, so I want to wait until I know. Um, Here's my point three staple. I guess I'll get out my tape measure. You know, I'm just gonna try to make it pretty long. Pretty long. I am great. You can't use the computer. Why? Why can't you use the computer? Get out my needle noses and my scissors. Right there. I guess I'm going to make a like, looks like a 22 inch I got here. Now, the most important part of any kind of staggered build is the first stagger you do. 
you could really mess up your entire build if you don't space it right, which for the most part, I do okay, but the last couple builds, I've been having a couple little areas, a couple little areas where I wish I did better. Socrates, what's up? All right, there's that. So I got like 22 inches of 0.3 ribbon, three pieces here. I got a piece of 40 gauge. I got my hot glue here. And I also have some water. All right, and I'm just gonna fold this in half. friction what's up it can be a taxing art form it can be but I think it's just like any other I mean I can't think of an art form that isn't uh, time consuming it costs a little bit of money I can't really think of one I think they all are we got fr some first timers well thank you fresh spork life what's up got some new guys here don't forget to hit subscribe I do a lot of coil building and BSing and talking a lot about the flavor van of course and I'm a I'm a recovering addict of I don't know five years or something and this hobby keeps me pretty occupied between coil building and running social media channels and stuff. And I have a full-time job. Addie Tooney. Um, between all this stuff, it keeps me busy enough to keep my mind active. And that's why vaping isn't just about isn't just about absorbing nicotine with flavors it's about many other things and that there's a whole community that i've met a whole community that wants to share the cure for combustible cigarettes that they found and they want to help others live better lifestyles and the amount of charities and stuff that I've seen go on in the vape industry because of a whole bunch of things, um, just basic charities. When people pass away, they raise money. When when somebody wants to do a, a charity for United States Army vets that were hurt in combat, they do that. Um, Countless amounts of charities always going on in the vaping industry, which isn't something a lot of people talk about because it's not something you you boast about. If you do something nice, you're not supposed to boast about it. But I mean, if we're going to be talking about harming people with e with e cigs, which I hate that term anyway. But if we're going to be talking about that, and then we're going to be talking about how bad vaping is i mean why don't we add that to the why don't we add that to the conversation so it's much more than just vaping nicotine and getting your nicotine fix and getting off a cigarette sometimes there's other things connected to vaping that are even more important than that. Um, lots of people will compare 
will compare the heroin ep epidemic to the vaping epidemic, saying that the heroin epidemic epidemic it's even worse than the vaping and that's a hundred percent true nobody cares about that though but i mean if we're to be honest there may be some people that found vaping that would still be on opiates and heroin if it wasn't for vaping there was a dr drew study well, not a Dr. Drew study. There was a conversation between Bobby Lee and Dr. Drew that went around a little bit. And Dr. Drew stated the fact that where we see large amounts of vaping communities, we also see large amount of recovering alcoholics and drug addicts. So it's almost one in the same or not one in the same. It's it's. It's comparable. They could be, they could be linked to each other, recovering drug addicts and alcoholics and vaping. So if we want to talk about the heroin epidemic, we might as well talk about that too, huh? We might as well talk about does vaping help anything aside from the nicotine fix and stuff like that? What's up, all the new people? How you doing? I guess if you're coming over from fresh, thank you for joining. I'm building coils. Should be fun for me. <laughs> Should be fun for me. All right. So I have six ply a point three here. And I have my drill. Now, sometimes there's gunk that gets caught up in this drill, especially when you use hot glue. You get like, you get like on the bottom thing, you could probably see in a second. See on the bottom thing, there's something chilling. That's not good. You don't want that. You don't want that. You see that? That's got to come out because that's going to interfere. Yes. When our minds are clear, we can think about what's going on. And that's a big problem. That's a big problem. There's, there's people that are going to look at you when you have your arguments about vaping. And they're going to be like, you know, this guy's crazy. He thinks... I think he's a conspiracy theorist, but quite honestly, the conspiracy theorist argument to it just means that they have no other way to argue about it. Because let's once you once you say the government's corrupt, the automatic response somebody will have is that you're a conspiracy theorist. That's the that's the automatic response. Just like the automatic response for people that don't vape when they hear about vaping, their automatic response is that it targets teens and that we don't know what it's going to do in 30 years. Why is it always 30 years? All right. We've been doing it for 15. Nothing's happened. Why are we going to 30? Because 15, we see nothing. When we get to 30, are you going to say, we don't know what it's going to do in 50 years? What the hell? Why is it 30 years? We know what it does in 15 years. <laughs> And it doesn't matter. We know what cigarettes do. That should be a, a good enough argument. We know that cigarettes are going to kill us. Can we do something that's not going to kill us? That we get the same feeling that we love? <sighs> For anybody new, this is how I always vape. I always vape with two high power mods in my hand. Wow, that was really good, actually. Holy shit. That was delicious. Holy crap. That was actually so good. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get hazy daisy in this one, get a little like custard in this one, 
and this is you want to get a point a point one seven build on your mech mod and then you want to get a point one nine build in a nem turk on a unregulated 81 mods and you're going to want to put this uh sticky icky in there right and then once you're done doing that You vape both at the same time. It's really good. So, see, I do DIY tutorials here, too. Okay? I'm drinking my coffee. So, I got to go look at a... I got to go look at a house at, like, 5, 5, or 435, something like that. 435, I got to go look at a house because I'm moving so that's why I'm on a little early but it seems like it's not the worst thing that's ever happened because we've got a bunch of people in here um, I'm just trying to pick out two 40 gauge spools that I want to use so I guess I'm going to use I'm gonna use this. I got two nichrome 40 gauge spools, and I put these 40 gauge spools. Each of them has a bag. And you see the label? Watch the label when I pull the 40 gauge. It just spins by itself, so I don't have to worry about my spool exploding. And as I'm fusing, it's just gonna feed me the wire. Okay, and then I save these bags. I save plastic bags. Because I'm like a hoarder. I save everything. I got like um, 2,500 pizza boxes in the next room over. I save every pizza box. So I save a lot of things. I save um, I save these water caps. I save all of them. Because you never know when you're going to need them. How do you become a Patreon? Nocturnal Vapor Joe? N dot divine eighty three on Patreon. I would have to get you a link. Can somebody get me a link to the Patreon? That would be awesome. I'm moving close by. I'm not moving any any farther from where I'm at. And for people that don't know, I live in Philadelphia, PA, home of the Whopper. No. Home of the cheesesteak and Rocky. But I'm more of a Tommy Guns guy than a Rocky guy, I think. Tommy Guns. I could be a jerk. I could be a real asshole. What I want to be. So watch out now. Okay. If you couldn't tell from my accent, yeah. Awesome, because of my video, it was awesome. I actually, um, I actually just, talked to somebody about my alien videos, and they kind of said the same thing. And that was the whole point. See, what I do here is I got two 40-gauge wires. You probably can't see them because they're super thin. There they are. They're right here. They're right here. See them? One's there. One's there. I'm going to wrap these 40-gauges around my wire in the beginning here. And we're going to go close up in a second. And I'm just wrapping it just to lock it onto this ribbon. And I'm just going to parallel clap in these two ribbons. So what I do here is just a lot of coil building, really. I've gotten to other videos where I just talk about random stuff. I like, like, MMA and stuff like that. Horror movies, heavy metal music, all that kind of stuff. But what I do here is I do this coil thing. And actually, Fresh 03 was the first YouTube channel I was ever on. And when I was on there, I would do Instagram videos. And I would do Instagram videos because a lot of people asked me how to do this, how to do that, how to do this, how to do that. And I figured it would be easier just to link them to videos or something. 
or just to show them live, just to go on and say, you want to know how I wrap a staple? Watch me live right now. So that turned into having a library of videos, a whole library of videos that people could go to if they want to learn different coils. But you do more than that, you know, because then I start talking about other stuff. I start. So it's not just coil building, but it's mostly. And people just like watching you do stuff. And they like chat rooms. Like most of this show is chat room. Like if you're in the chat, most of the time, you're probably just chatting with a bunch of good people. We keep the we keep the uh, chat room pretty, pretty uh, honest. If you notice, there's a lot of blue wrenches, a lot of them. So that keeps all the uh, the grumpy old trolls out. You know, all the people that haven't got enough hugs, they tend to stay out because we got them wrenches. Okay. Moderated. We keep them moderated. Exactly. So, let's get up close for a little bit. I'm not going to go too much because when I do this, I'm really fast. I'm fucking, fucking fast. So. I have six ply staple here. I do a lot of live shows too for anybody that's new here i do a lot of live shows i do some pre-recorded i'd like to get into more pre-recorded but i do a lot of live so my goal here with these 240 gauges is to get them as close to each other without overlapping i don't want any gaps but i also don't want to overlap so this is parallel fusing two pieces of 40 gauge onto six pieces of 0.3 ribbon. And it's going to be a little hard to see. It looks like I'm getting like some little dust bunnies on there. Yeah, this isn't going to be the good part for straight up macro lensing, but whatever. Two wires going on. So what I've been doing, because I want, I want to make sure that I get the, I want to make sure these are tight. And it seems as though that when I don't do this, I have problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lenses on. I don't think I need the light. We'll see. No, I don't need the light. And I'm going to fuse these two on here. So this may be, let's do this. Get some music. definitely gain some subscribers that's for sure thanks for all the new subscribers anybody that's watching and not chatting what's going on you don't have to chat but I encourage it it's not a I think a lot of people feel like chats um, can be almost clicky or something right but I actually think that our chat is 
a well put together chat. Got some good people. done here. So basically I just made a mistake so I reversed, pulled it off and fixed it. Now I'm at the end here. All right. I'm at the end and I got two wires. One's closer to the swivel than the other. The one closer to the swivel, which is this one, that's the one closer to the swivel. We're going to cut him damn near flush. He's staying on. The one closer to the drill, I'm going to put my drill in reverse. And I'm going to pull on the one that's still there. That's going to take it off and it's going to leave a perfect space behind and leave one of the 40 gauges on there. Comprende? All right. And I'm going to have perfect spacing on my ribbon. Thank you. 
If you fused, if you fuse the wire correctly the first time, then taking the wire off isn't hard at all. It's as long as you didn't overlap them. If you overlap them, you're going to have a hard time. But the drill's in reverse, so you're just doing the reverse thing. Pull off straight with a straight angle. Don't pull off with an angle this way or angle that way. You pull straight off and just follow it down, and it pulls off very, very easy. And then you're left with anywhere I go on this wire. I'm going to have I'm going to have a perfect 40 gauge spacing. There's the six ply side. I'm going to have that nice spacing all the way down. Anywhere I go. Now, this is a small bit of wire right now, so it's going to be a little hard to see, but perfect. Okay. Yeah, these are jeweler's glasses or watchmaker glasses. The ones I have right now are watchmaker's glasses. I have jeweler's glasses up there. Anything that does like times 10 magnification is going to be perfect. Anything like times 10 magnification. Johnny Drips, what's up? All right, so now I'm going to take 
man. I tried to do six ply on the last one and um and fuse it every other space. But it didn't really want to do it. See, I got these here. I did these this morning. I made this. I made this this morning. And it's just frames. But it's basically the same as what I'm about to do. All right. So I have what I just did. What I just did was the side piece here. Just the, just the six ply and 0.3 with 40 gauge. Now I want to put ribbon next to it and do just like one of these. All right, this is two pieces. So I want to make just one of them right now. But I think I want to put more ply on there because I was trying to I was trying to angle it to skip two spaces. And it just wasn't doing it good. And I want to I want to skip two spaces on this. I don't want to skip just one because I want to fuse it a couple times. I don't want to just fuse it one time. I want to fuse it a couple times. So, um, what we're going to do is take this off the drill. Let me measure it first. If I cut off the ends, I have nine and a half inches, which is more than enough. That's what I like nine and a half so in fact what i'm going to do is cut the end off of this like that and we're going to leave the loop on this end on the swivel end and we're going to pop this guy off and there's my stick so i got that that stick of staggered ribbon there six ply 40 now i'm going to um, I'm going to prep, um, I'm going to prep eight ply point three. So basically the same thing I just did. In the beginning of the video so this should be super boring for anybody <laughs> no but if you didn't see me prep um if you want to see anybody uh prep ribbon for a second time well here i go I got this battery powered light that I just put batteries in. It's pretty awesome little light for the camera for now. Anyway, I got this, I got this, and I got, let me see what kind of point three ribbon I got here. I got that. I got night chrome. Let me see if this can fall is worth anything. No, it's not really worth anything. F that shit. That'll go away. Actually, I'm going to keep the night chrome too. We'll just do more stainless steel point three ribbon. All right. So, I basically just want out two times the size of this. Four times. So, I kind of just take my wire like that mark it with my finger like that bring it down here and bring out another length and cut it all right i got my size right here i'm gonna get out four of these pieces and i'm hoping that's going to be enough for what i need to do should be. Okay. 
take these four pieces. I'm going to push the tops together so that they're all the same size in this finger. So I got all four pieces right here. Run my fingers down to here. And I'm going to cut all these the same size and make sure if there's any bends in them, which there is. There's like a bend in it. I don't think you could see, but cut them all the same size. Make them all nice and neat. And now all four of these ribbons are the same exact size. And I'm kind of just going to pinch this end. Run my fingers down. I got some water here. And that's going to kind of glue the ribbon together for a second. It's going to get them all stacked. And now it looks like one piece. But this is four wires. But look, it looks like one piece of wire. I can freaking throw it around. I can do whatever I want. They're stuck together. One piece of wire, but it's actually four. And then I'm going to take both ends, bring them together, index and thumb together, and pull up in the middle. And that's going to start your bend there. And I'm kind of pinching hard with this hand. Run my fingers down on each side. That should straighten them out, and the water is going to still hold. Bring my loop together. Pinch it in. Kind of dig my nail into there. My loop just needs to be big enough to accept this swivel here, which is just a basic fishing hook, really. And I'm going to get some scrap 40 gauge. I'm going to wrap the 40 gauge around this guy. All right. Cut it off nice and clean. That's what I got. I'm going to run my hands down again. The water's starting to dry, so I got to get some more water like that. Pinch, bring it down about an inch. Get some more 40 gauge. Trap it between the wire and my thumb. And wrap around about five to ten times here. And then I'm going to pinch that and slide it all the way down. That's going to stack the ribbon and hold it together at the same time. When I bring it down here, I can wrap it a couple more times. And there's a ribbon stack. Now, for extra precaution, what I like to do is I like to get hot glue on the 40 gauge binders. So this is bind it with 40 gauge, just like I just showed. There's 40 gauge right below that loop. All right. Also, Fresh was talking me up, huh? I should have Fresh on the channel because... Um, Especially because of the DIY thing. So people, so I can raise awareness to DIYing because it's going to be important, I think. Even if it comes to the point where we're just mixing, we're just mixing like zero milligram with nicotine, which it looks like that's the path we're going to be going down. I think, I think it's going to be so far. I don't know. Nobody knows. But it looks like we may be going down the path of zero milligram e-juice, e-liquid, I'm sorry, and nicotine shots. I think like a lot of people overseas do. Uh, Uh, 
All right. Welcome, anybody that's new. Thank you for coming over. Fresh 03 is a wonderful guy. All right. Here's that. Oh, yeah, the nicotine is the problem, all right. I do. So the coil I'm doing right now, the coil I'm doing right now is fairly advanced, right? But I do do less advanced coils on Tuesdays. I have a whole playlist of a series that I do live on Tuesdays called Coil Class, where I teach all the coils, easiest to hardest, week at a time. We're at like 28 this week. We'll be 28. Uh, there's going to be like 40 of these episodes. We're at 28. So I got done the first 28. And we're going to get them all done. And I just put this in the drill, and I didn't need to. And it just took my hot glue off. It doesn't need to go in the drill right now. It needs to go next to the other wire that I made. I guess it's just a force of habit that I stick stuff into holes. I don't know. I don't know what to do. All right. Sorry, guys. It's my first day. What's up, Frank? They better not ban tomatoes. I love fucking tomatoes. I will. Ooh, man. All right. So here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I have potatoes. Potatoes are good, too. I like potatoes a lot. Okay, so I got two wires here, right? One is a ribbon stack that is that has 40 gauge on it, right? One is a ribbon stack with 40 gauge. The camera doesn't like either, I guess. There you go. One is a ribbon stack with 40 gauge, one without. I'm going to bring them together, make sure all the staples are standing up. So basically, just make sure the loops are running the same way. All right, so both loops are pointed that way, as opposed to one loop being pointed that way and one being pointed that way. You don't want that, like one standing up. Yikes. Okay, whatever. One like this, one like that. All right. And I'm going to take some 40 gauge and wrap them together. I'm going to start wrapping them together loosely and I'm going to get tighter and tighter so that they come together nicely. I can kind of pinch them, make sure that they're standing up the right way. And 
And you can't see nothing. Well, wow. okay. Sorry about that. Let me put the macro lens on so you can see exactly what's going on. Okay. And now before I go further, I'm going to hot glue the keto put a dab of hot glue on that 40 gauge I just put on and you could kind of reheat it while it's on there it'll melt in there real nice kind of make sure they're all Flatten together. Okay. Now, let it dry. I'm going to run my fingers down to the middle here. Get some more 40 gauge and do some spaced wrap 40 gauge in the middle about five to eight times or something like that. Cut it off, but leave a little bit on. Come on, man. It might be too bright. And I'm going to do that probably like two more times. I'm going to slide my fingers down, make sure the build is okay. Take a piece of 40 gauge and do a spaced wrap 40 gauge around it. About five to eight times. Spaced, spaced wrap. You don't want to mess up your spacing. With your binders, that would be a travesty. I think Michigan's the state I was talking about this morning that the cops went to enforce at vape shops and zero milligram was okay, I believe. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Because of how the law reads, you just can't have flavored nicotine bottles. Whoa. All right, I'm having a little issue here.
Damn it. All right. Something I have to fix about this ribbon. Just try to see what it is. I think it's because the hot glue is holding it from going where I want it to go. Or one of my binders is holding it. But I should get it here. Just got to be careful and patient. Pretty important that you're patient with coil building. You don't really want to rush stuff or muscle stuff. That's not really the way to go about it. It's kind of a tedious process. Don't be an asshole. Cool. We're in a little town of Michigan. WYV, what's up? Effie Wire, what's going on? What's up, everybody? All right. So, 12,000. Yeah, that is small. Okay. So, I'm going to empty out my chuck again. Now, I don't think that this wire is going to be a problem in my chuck right now. It shouldn't be. It might be. I don't know. Let me try to pull and see what happens. It seems fine. It might slip out later. Who knows? I can um, I can clamp my drill to my table here. Kind of just take the clamp and clamp it to the table. Like so. All right. And I'll show you what I have here. As best as I can. That's what I have. So, eight ply It's um actually it's six ply in forty gauge spaced eight ply and then skip fuse four. Okay. So now we're going to fuse this. So the bottom one is six ply and 40 gauge. The top one's eight ply, 0.3. But you don't have to do 0.3. That's just what I did. Thank you to the new Patreons. I see Joseph Terry. Thank you. Anybody else that's new? Thank you. I got a couple new ones this week. All right. Mm. 
should be good. I'm going to... The goal is to double skip views, but if I only get one space, I'll be okay with that too. I can figure it out. So now I'm going to get some 40 gauge, um, I guess. I guess 40 gauge, where is it? I think I'm going to get 40 gauge stainless steel because I like stainless steel. And I'm going to do that. So I got some 40 gauge stainless steel here. This is nichrome on there right now. It's stainless steel ribbon, but nichrome fuse. I'm going to take this 40 gauge and I'm going to wrap it around just to lock it onto the build. This is just to get started so I could just start fusing right away. I'm kind of wrapping it in a clockwise motion about 10 times, making sure I don't mess up the build, doing it pretty tight so it actually keeps the build together as well. And I could just rip that off. And throw it out and then the first couple fuses I'm just gonna keep tight and I'm going to make sure my build stays together the way I want so I wrap it around five times and then I take some nylon pliers these are nylon pliers beetle on Not the pliers. I'm just going to wrap it. So right now I'm just doing a full fuse on this. Just to get it started to make sure my ribbons are in place. It's basically just another one of these 40 gauge binders. Now, I think I want to put another 40 gauge binder on because the first one's pretty far away. So I'm going to take some 40 gauge here. And come about an inch and a half into the build and do a spaced 40 gauge wrap. So I'm going to have to take off three of these. This will be one and there's two after this. Cut that off. But now... Everything should be good. So let me show you what this is looking like. And then I'll try to stay close up and keep music going as I skip it after I tell you something. So got this. And I'm just fusing this tight. I don't really care what it looks like up here because it will probably get cut off. This is going to be the end of the lead. Pinch it down, make sure everything's good. So you see everything's nice and tight and tidy. And uh, everything's looking pretty good right here. So what does that mean for me? It means that the fusing should go easier if everything's all nice and clean. I only have to worry about my spacing and stuff like that. So the last one I did that I just showed you, it was a single space. So basically when I'm fusing this, all the spaces, which you can do, you keep a straight angle. If you want to open up and do every other, you change the angle of this wire like that. You see how I was straight like this? Now I want to open up that angle to skip one space. Obviously paying attention to what I'm doing. Right, I just messed up there, but I think you will get the point. All right, so that would be one space if I open up the angle. And I skip one space, and I could do that all the way down. What I would like to do 
is I would like to skip two spaces. That's what I would really like to do with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the angle up even more and see if I could skip two spaces. And this, if I want to keep it looking good, I'm prob I'm probably going to have to do a zigzag motion in order to keep it looking straight on one side at least. So I guess the goal for this is going to be making one side look straight. The one is going to have to be on an angle just because that's just kind of what it is. Alright. Oops. I want to make sure I'm only skipping two spaces. I don't want to do three because it, it's going to mess up my build later on. So I just want to make sure them two spaces and that's it. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get a good picture of this before I go any further. I do think that the spacing was a little off in the beginning here, and it's going to get tighter. So we will see. But... That's what I'm doing, just two spaces all the way up. All right. Um, Thank you. 
So the goal is to make sure the one side looks super straight. The other side is going to be angled just because that's the nature of moving up a build like this. That was just three spaces I skipped. I think. Yeah. Mm. Once you get in the momentum of it, it gets easier. You just got to make sure that you don't. Skip only one space or skip three spaces. And I'm not, obviously I'm not counting it every time. I just see a pattern. When I skip three spaces, I see that it doesn't look like the last one. So it's kind of a one at a time thing. Like I seen that single one right away. I just did that single one. And I can just go back, reverse it and fix it. Let's get on. It's not, what the hell, it's not letting me, what is this thing doing to me here? Huh, okay, whatever. What's up, meter?
I'm gonna keep Yeah, I keep skipping three spaces. Once you get into the rhythm of it, if the spacing's good, you move your hand the same every time. It's like a muscle memory thing. You get into the groove of things. It's like doing jumping jacks. If somebody asked you to do one singular jumping jack, you'd probably look like an idiot. But if they asked you to do 50, you'd probably look like a professional at the end. At like 30, you'd start looking like a pro. Kind of the same thing. I got this thing here. I got to take off now. I am kind of halfway down this thing. I guess I could give you another angle for a little bit of what it looks like when I'm fusing, how long it's taken or whatever. This might be a good one. I don't know. I'm probably just going to see the top of my head for a bit. Well, that's different lighting for sure. I'll go close up again in a second. I could have put that music back on. All right, I'm getting there. This is actually going very well.
Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I didn't realize what time it is. It is 4 o'clock now. So I guess I got to get out of here. That was a phone call telling me that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. I don't know what time. Probably around six ish. And I'll do like another hour at six. So that's what I got for now. Thank you, all the new people that came in. A lot of people watching now. Um, so, yeah. Anybody that doesn't know, I'm going to go look at a new house. And because I'm moving, so I have to go meet with the homeowner. And get that done. But I also have UFC tonight, so if I come back, it's only going to be for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Kind of depends. But this is looking good. So what we're going to do is when I come back, I'm going to fuse the rest of this, which is very little. I'm right here. This is the beginning. I fused it there. I only got this much left, which shouldn't take that long. And then I'm going to put something else next to it and fuse that on so what happens after that I don't know I may do something else after that as well I'm just gonna have to figure it out so One one hundred fifteenth. Yeah. Everybody, thank you, Vapor Cat. What's up? I am out of here. I will see you in a bit. I will come back on. I just don't know how for long how for how long it will be. But everybody, have a good weekend. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment. I'm live on Tuesdays at seven thirty Eastern time. I'm live on Saturdays five thirty Eastern time, and also in the morning I do a live show. I get some pre-records out there everybody have a good one keep fighting for your right to vape and i will see you in the next one peace out